Hello YouTube, Annette Bella here and today I'm going to be reviewing the first issue of The Amazing Dinosaur Discovery done by the Natural History Museum London um, and it's an amazing magazine and model collection. So there we have, this is a picture of the Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton that you will build. It stands at an amazing 1.2 metres high. That's the top. I'm going to stand this up. It does come with a lovely handle, which enables you to carry the case really well. Okay, so this is the magazine, which we're going to have a look through. First, on the front, we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Inside, biggest dinosaurs fighting for food and finding fossils. This is issue one. And the price for this was issue one, 99p. I have no idea what next week's price is going to be. We've got Discovering Dinosaurs, Age of Giants, Digging for Facts and in Detail. We've got Meet the Dinosaurs, some lovely artwork in here, Rulers of the Planet and Sketches. Record breaking. Did you know that the Diplodocus Diddy that actually is in the Natural History Museum entranceway is being moved? Um, they're putting in its place a giant blue whale um, skeleton that is currently in the blue room. They're moving that into the main entrance. But I actually think it's really nice in the blue room because you've got that plastic model of the blue whale. Um, underneath and then you've got it skelling the real skeleton above um i like diddy being in the main entrance because people come to see the dinosaurs even though diddy isn't actually a real dinosaur it's fake um bones they aren't real they're like made of a resin very much like this only these are plastic diddy's actually made of resin and so that's why they're moving her because she's not an actual specimen she's a replica specimen but i think it's nice because people want to the first thing they want to see is a dinosaur but hey ho they put it in the blue um whale skeleton there's a campaign against that by the way um there we go some more stuff parenting making sure they look after their eggs Okay, now this is interesting because I think that the um, timeline that was in the National Geographic um, gemstone collection was actually better than the one in, than this one. It had better um, drawings. Well, actually it wasn't drawings, it was photos. But the these drawings are lovely, but I just think that the photos uh, are a little bit better. But hey-ho, they can't have everything in life, can you? Excavating the past. So that's a beautiful... Skellington there. And then Tyrannosaurus Rex himself. He's basically a large chicken that can eat you. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Because they now think that he had feathers. I think a lot of dinosaurs may or may not have had feathers because dinosaurs, uh, birds evolved from dinosaurs. Though I've never known a chicken like want to take a giant chunk out of me. And also chickens don't have teeth, but that's a minor point. But look at the little tilly arms. I mean, what are they for, these arms? I mean, he can't even reach his mouth with those tiny arms. What are they for? Are they for, like, climbing? Or or, or, or assisting him, like, climbing up trees? I don't know, maybe break it, because, I mean, he's the size of an elephant. What's he going to climb? Maybe rocks. Maybe if he's, like, going up there, he would aid. But I really don't know. It's just stupid proportions. Okay, and there he is attacking us with his teeth. There's an alligator bite. And this week's bones. That's um, issue two. And uh, next piece is of your T-Rex skeleton. You'll receive the inner skull, right side of the face, and the front teeth. So there um, you're getting the skeleton like that, but you're also getting his skin. So that's the first magazine. The second magazine is like a bit of a, like... A summary of it. So there you go. You've got the boy and the skeleton. And there's the actual outer skeleton complete. Which is this his skin and his colouring. So they've gone with traditional green. And they also haven't given him feathers. A bit about the magazine. Dragons and dinosaurs. And then Tyrannosaurus Rex. The girl this time leaning on a circle. And a boy leaning on the actual skeleton. And there's inner skull, incisor teeth, and right side face. Notice that they haven't actually told you the price of issue two, which is interesting. Here's the assembly guide, which is just skeleton assembly guide. So there's the complete model. The skull, the teeth, the neck, 
the dorsal vertebrate and ribs. The dorsal vertebrate and ribs continued. Four feet stand, hind feet, legs, pelvis, pubis and ditchum, tail. There we are, final tweaks. And there he is with his rods for support. Okay, blurb, we get the obligatory survey. We get the don't miss out, place a regular order with your newsagent. And then we've got the subscription, which is really, really strange in this one. Okay, incredible real fossils from the Mesoric era and free to subscribers and three other fantastic geeks. Fantastic gifts. So you get three fossils. And what do you get? Fantastic T Rex wall chart, a free issue, genuine fossils, and a microscope. And if you choose the premium, you get slides again. So it's basically the insect slides again. Now, we had the gems collection that had the insect slides and we had the real life bug collection. Both were National Geographic. This is Natural History Museum. And what do we get? A microscope. So, wall chart, free issue, three fossils which are free. Three free fossils. Yippee for tongue twisters. So, Fantastic T-Rex wall chart, a free issue, three free fossils, a microscope, and if you go for the premium subscription, you get bug bits again. This is supposed to be about dinosaurs. I'm not impressed. Just the same offer, a different format. And we have no idea what the next issue is going to be. Whereas Real Life Bugs told us the price of the next issue. And so did the Gemstones told us the real price. Maybe they've got wise to that because people were getting, only getting the first one for 99p like me and then not getting any more. Okay, so let's open this up. It's quite sturdy cardboard, actually. It's got a nice sheen to it. Let's see if we can open it one-handed. And you're like, why did you just... It's like, why did she open it? She didn't need to. She just needed to pull it out. And there's his teeth. So here is teeth. Left and right. One all the way down to nine. On the right. And the left. So there's his teeth. So you're going to need, like, clippers to clip them out and put them in his mouth like that. So this is his skull. It's pretty impressive, really. Like the detail, the nice bumps. They could have weathered it a bit, but then again, I, I guess then that would confuse people. So it's kind of like a teenager T-Rex, I guess. So there you are. This is the end of the review. Another interesting money spinner there. So 